Fort Calhoun Nuclear Station is in the process of deconstruction, but another challenge faces Omaha's power company. Missouri River levels are rising again. As you can see, we are about level with what the river level is right now. Danielle Cram, project manager at the station, says they're reinforcing flood measures that have been out since March. They've got HESCO barriers around the switch yard and thousands of sandbags protecting transformers. So we will test our, our barriers. We're very confident that we're going to uh, be able to protect the plants. Also, crews build a scaffolding walkway to the nuclear station. The plant was shut down in 2011 before the flood started and stayed dry through a long flood emergency surrounded by water. Since the station is in the process of deconstruction, one main priority is to make sure no hazardous materials end up in the floodwaters. So as we start to dismantle buildings and um, work towards the demolition process, it's making sure that we have positive control of all of that demolition material so that we're not inadvertently releasing um, something to the environment that we don't want to. Isabel Thomas has lived a short distance away from the nuclear station and says she's glad OPPD is putting the public safety first. I think that's very important um, because the fact of the contamination and uh, getting rid of the nuclear waste in the proper way, that also is a concern to me. And OBBD anticipates having their flood protection system out at least until mid-July as the rivers may continue to fluctuate throughout the season. Reporting south of Blair, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now.